It's my pleasure to greet you to this conference and I trust that you will embrace the ideas that are presented here and try the use of the tools that are being presented to help your children learn. One of the things that we know from the research that has been done is that this concept mapping tool, simple as it is, can really help children understand ideas. And nothing does more for the good feelings of children than to know they understand. One of the greatest joys we have in life is the recognition that something that was difficult we now have mastered and we understand it. This is one of the joys that I have had in working with concept mapping and with educators all over the world who have been using this tool to help children learn and as a result help them feel better about themselves. It also helps children who are autistic or dyslexic or who have language learning difficulties. Concept mapping is a tool that can help in many ways and I hope that you will be part of that community of people that use this tool to help your students, your charges, to become as good and as powerful as they can be. I wish you very much luck in this conference and in your work after the conference. Well, concept maps are important because they help students and even teachers to um, learn better about the process of learning so they make meaning about what they're doing. They will structure knowledge and the outcome of the creation of the concept map will provide a new um, uh, provide new information for new knowledge. And I'm Barb Daly and this is Simone Conceza and we're both from the United States from Milwaukee, Wisconsin and we use concept maps in our teaching in higher education and we use them to help students understand how they learn and how they can learn better and our students are um, people who are in medical professions, nursing professions and they're trainers in business and industry so they take those concept maps back to the learners they work with so they can help those learners understand their own learning processes and learn better. Good. What's your name and uh, university or okay. work? I'm Simone Conceição. I'm with the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee, like Barbara. Yeah. Uh, concept maps is a technique. It's a tool that can be used to improve meaningful learning. If you look at the structure of concept maps, you have the notes, or you have the bubbles, and then you have the connection. Okay, within the connection, we have proposition. So it is actually like telling a story but then not, an elite, uh, not in a linear manner. It is spread out. So from one concept, you can link the concept to other sub-concepts. And because of that, that relates to your, actually your understanding. So understanding is when you can relate one concept to many, many concepts. And concept mapping provides you the uh, tool to do this. Uh, so it is very important for teachers to understand the subject or the concept that they are teaching. And in order for the teacher to actually discuss with their students, uh, they can use this concept mapping as a tool for discussion. So the teacher can actually see what the students have in their mind. It is uh, the ideas in their mind is being visualized in concept maps. And from the concept maps, the teacher can actually uh, see the misconceptions that the students have and then can uh, try to discuss with the students and correct the misconceptions. So it is a tool useful for the teacher as well as the students, uh, especially in discussion of uh, understanding of concept. I think that is the main uh, importance of concept mapping to me at least. And I have used concept mapping for, in many subjects. Um, statistics, it is useful in statistics, in research methods, in like writing the literature review, as well as uh, in uh, statistics and micro teaching. So, micro teaching they use it for lesson planning, in statistics, they use it uh, to understand the different statistical techniques because students find out the statistical techniques, 
and then in research methods for writing the proposal, for writing the literature review. Basically, maybe there are other people can have other ideas related to concept Thank you. Okay, uh, I, my name is Sumitra Himanshu, and I am currently an assistant professor at a teaching college uh, as part of the University of Georgia in the United States. Um, I got into concept mapping uh, because my advisor uh, for my dissertation at the University of Rochester in New York was Joe's, uh, Joe, Joe Nowak's um, student. And uh, I'm interested in how we learn and how this can help teachers and uh, students, especially in the STEM uh, courses, in the science, technology, mathematics, um, understand uh, themselves and understand how that material impacts their lives. Um, my background, I'm a geneticist, but I'm also interested in science policy. So that's why. Okay. What else? Do I use concept mapping? Yes. Uh, do you, um, thema two. Uh, do, do you use HEMA tool? Do I use uh, concept mapping, the tool? Yes, I do. Um, I use it uh, for my own lectures. Um, I use it to, to show my students in, this, in science, physical science and life science and how to integrate different uh, scientific concepts uh, from different science lenses. Um, so, for example, we talk about gravity and we talk about how gravity, um, from a physical science point, you know, the principles of gravity, the law of gravitation, what that means. And then I talk to them about, so when you go on a roller coaster, what happens? Why do you think, why do you not sense weight anymore? You know, what is free fall? You know, what is weightlessness? How is that relevant to you in your everyday life? I think that makes it very meaningful uh, for my students, especially for those who don't have very much of a background in science and who are not able on their own sometimes to see those connections. Um, so I use concept mapping to lecture. Um, I have them do concept mapping individually and in groups. I have them brainstorm, uh, take ideas apart and put it back together, uh, doing it that way. I'm also part of the, uh, I'm part of um, a group that uh, is developing elementary uh, and special ed, middle grades and secondary programs uh, for teacher training. So in my school of education, uh, that's kind of one of the other hats that I wear. And uh, so I train teachers to use CMAPs, uh, especially to organize their own understanding um, and to then go and teach it to children. Uh, for me personally, I use this assessment too, and that's what my dissertation really was all about. Using CMAP tools to look at STEM uh, courses, uh, to look at science, technology, engineering, math courses, and how faculty uh, at the university level in those courses, how they think, they, you know, how they think and what they think they're really imparting to the students, but what the reality is, and to look at those gaps and how can we bridge those gaps. Yes. Uh, my name is Yang Su Kim. Uh, I'm from in Korea, uh, and I'm a professor at Seoul National University. Uh, and did, in, I participated in uh, this conference first, and uh, I really enjoyed uh, If I came here, actually I wanted to meet uh, Professor Nova. Uh, because uh, I met him uh, in America when I was a student at uh, Columbia University. At the time, the Professor Nova was a uh, professor at Cornell University. And uh, my advisor was very close with uh, him. And my advisor uh, suggested me I should read the, uh, one book, uh, which is titled uh, how, Learning How to Run. It was uh, uh, 1984. Uh, at that time, uh, I was uh, second year in America. And I learned, and it was very impressive. And uh, after I finished my degree uh, and returned to Korea, uh, I started to teach in concept mapping. So it is almost uh, for 20 years I taught uh, concept mapping to my students who so will be uh, baroque teachers uh, in Korea. And, but for a long time, uh, there is some problems in applying concept mapping because Korean language is quite different from uh, English. Uh, so I solved the, uh, that problem uh, using my own uh, software, concept mapping software, uh, called online um, concept mapping software. And this year, uh, I think here, uh, we are uh, learn more things and uh, I want to, uh, really want to meet uh, Dr. Nova and uh, uh, I want to know the, how other countries are doing uh, using concept mapping, how they are applying uh, concept mapping in their education and I want to meet many people from here and uh, uh, fortunately 
uh, I met many people and uh, really I enjoy it and I learned many things from uh, experience uh, uh, from other countries people's experience you know uh, especially uh, the language program thank you very much <laughs>